Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I got a comparison for you guys of the PS3 and the PS4 version, which I will have side by side, and I'll fragment it into a lot of different parts from like, you know, just cut scenes, um, you know, to the shooting, to the riding the horses in the game, just so you guys can see that there is no difference. Do not purchase the Red Dead Redemption, you know, PS4 port. It's not worth $50. You know, a physical copy comes out in October, but you know, if it does come out physical copy in October, Wait till it's used if you're going to get it for the PS4 because that way, you know, Rockstar and Take-Two does not get anything from that. Uh, and if you have a PS3, you know, just buy it on Amazon. You can buy it for $17.92. That's what I actually bought here. Now, I got a copy of this back in my parents' house, but um, when I moved away, I actually did not take a lot of my PS3 games with me, and so I had to buy another copy of this. Um, uh, but this game right here, you guys can see this is in wrapping. I have not opened this. So I ordered this, you know, last week. And I have not opened this yet. Uh, this is, you know, brand new PS3 copy. How much did I pay for this PS3 copy? I paid $17.92 on Amazon. I will link it also down below if you want to buy it on Amazon on the PS3. And look at what the PS3 version, it comes with Un uh, Undead Nightmare, the standard game, and multiplayer. Multiplayer, which this PS4 port does not have. And the reason that I'm showing you guys this case right here is because I know I'm going to have like a bunch of people in the comments that are probably going to be defending Rockstar saying, oh, professional, you bought a used copy. Of course, it's only going to be $17.92. You know, it's reasonable what Rockstar is charging. No, this is a brand new copy. It's still in its wrapping, you can see. And I'm going to open this right now for you guys here. I'm going to open this right here. That's so the disbelievers that don't believe that I literally bought a new copy of Red Dead Redemption on the PS3. So here, see, brand new copy. Let's open it up here. Right here. See that? Sorry about my camera, just... It just, it just does that a little bit sometimes. It's just, you know, with the NVIDIA broadcast, because I just try to have myself in here. Um, but let's take it out the thing here. Look at this here. Brand new disc. No scratches, see that? So literally, bought it right there, and show you guys something else here. This is something that you will not be able to get even with the physical copy. Now, if the physical copy of Red Dead Redemption uh, 1 on the PS4, you know, the, the PS4 port, if that actually comes with this, I will be very impressed if it actually comes with this, but I highly doubt the physical copy, I think, is only going to come with the disc, nothing more. But right here, take a look at this here. Uh, hope I don't tear this during this. Look at this right here, look at this. It's a little hard for me to show. Uh, sorry about my camera, I'm just, <laughs> you know, NVIDIA broadcast, I just try to always have myself in here and, um, but basically, so that you guys can see, okay, if I go back a little bit, it's better here. So if you guys can see right here, this is a map, and it's a pretty big map. This comes with Red Dead Redemption, you know, uh, when it's not digital, when it's the boxed. You only get the map. And here, so you can see the other side of it. Um, get the right angle for you guys here. Yeah, just that's just it, just so you guys can see. This comes with the map right here. Again, sorry for a lot of it being cut off here. Um, it just it just due to my camera. It's just how it's recording stuff because it, it's supposed to. Only, my camera is only supposed to record me. It's not supposed to record any other objects. So that's why it's a little hard for me to show it here. But just so you guys can see, you know, this is you know it, this comes with the map of these um, of this game, and you know it's a little bit of information you can read on the map. But that's the thing is that's one thing I miss about physical copies of games is that they gave you manuals and they gave you cool little things like this. But now it says when you ever buy a physical copy, all it pretty much is just a disc. There's no manual. There's no map. If it's an open world game, you don't ever get any of that stuff. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if when Rockstar releases GTA 6, when they try to do like a deluxe edition of GTA 6, they're gonna be like, oh, here's the map. You guys get a map with GTA 6 deluxe edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a map. This is what people uh, and people are gonna be like, oh wow, that's so amazing. That's so cool. Rockstar's giving us a map with the GTA 6 map with the GTA 6 Deluxe Edition. What they don't realize is that a lot of these old games actually came with maps with just the standard edition. You didn't have to buy literally uh, some deluxe crap edition in order to get them, but that's probably what they're going to do. Um, but anyways, um, let me move on to enough of my ranting here. Let me move on to actually showing you guys the game here. The rest of this video is not going to have commentary. It's just going to be basically me just, um, uh, just showing off different parts of the game. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you enjoy videos like this, do drop a like. Thank you. 
must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Well, here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. If you say so. Come on. Take it slow on the way out of town. No need to kick up a lot of dust. Gee up. Whoa. Come on, easy up now. Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had... Come for you, Bill Williamson. Come out here right now. Go away now, John. <laughs> Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill. I implore you, think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. <sighs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Poor John.
Your move, my friend. You're just about dead. That's Walt inside the house. Let's see if we can take him alive. 